Hey, so I just got back from class and I am ready to film this video that I've been wanting to film for the past four years. This is my honest opinion of college. I'm going to probably get a little heated in this video. There might be some upper lip sweat going on throughout this because I have so much to say and if this video helps just one person out there, then mission accomplished. I just want to kind of lay it all out on the table and let everyone know what college is really like if you aren't aware. and. I just have a lot to say, so sit back, close all of your college tabs on your computer right now, and just listen up, because I'm going to be really real with you, and I just, you know, I'm going to take out my backpack, let's get situated, and I'll talk to you in a second. Before I begin, I want to just give a little background on myself, and kind of set up how I have some credibility in talking about this, because this is my fourth year in college, and I've kind of seen it all at this point. So, yeah, I'm a senior in college, I'm going to be graduating in December, and I go to a state school in Connecticut, and I don't hate it, I just don't think that I should be spending over $10,000 a year at this school, or any school in general for that matter, and I think the reason why I'm so passionate about how expensive college is is because I'm paying for it out of my own pocket. I don't have inheritance money from dead grandparents that are paying for all of it, and I know that's the case for a lot of people, they just don't have to... What was that? And I know that's the case for a lot of people out there, which I'm envious of them, that they don't have to worry about paying for school, and they just go, and that's it, they don't have to think about it. But since I'm paying for it, I am kind of conscious of the fact that I don't know where that money is going, and I also just don't believe that it should be that much. So if you're watching this video, and all of your college is paid for by your parents, or someone, doesn't matter, if you have a sugar daddy, wish I did at this point, honestly, it doesn't really affect you. I'm just kind of talking to someone out there that is considering going to college and doesn't have the money and thinks that it's worth it because just flat out it's not. That all being said, I know you might be thinking like, you're a hypocrite, you don't like college and you think it's a waste of money, yet you're a senior and you're gonna graduate soon? Honestly, yeah, it looks like I'm a hypocrite, yep. And I don't regret going to college either, I'm happy that I went, it's a great experience. I suggest going, it's just I'm going to be giving you my tips on how it could be more affordable and less money out of your pocket because there are other options out there. So we're gonna rewind all the way back to senior year Kevin in high school, figuring out what he wants to do with his life, sitting in a class that he was required to take that forced him to apply to colleges. This class in my high school was designed for everyone to sit down around computers and fill out all these college applications and that's how you got graded in the class. So during my college search I found a school in Chicago called Columbia College and I instantly just fell in love with it. I visited it with my mom before accepting it and I just decided to go because it seemed so cool and had great programs I thought. And after I graduated high school I started packing up my things and before I knew it I was just living in Chicago and going to school in Chicago. And at first I was like wow this is really cool oh my god like college oh my god it's crazy. Red solo cups everywhere oh my god. And then and as the time went on, I started to think, wait a sec, am I even learning anything at this school? This school is also $30,000 a year, so kind of out of my budget. I had some money through YouTube that I was able to pay for it, thankfully, but I was just kind of like calling my mom. I don't know if like I'm learning anything. Everyone just kind of reassured me saying like your freshman year, you don't really learn that much. You're just taking general education credits. You're just taking the BS courses pretty much, which are forced upon you, which I'll get into that in a bit. But since I was having so much fun out there living on my own for the first time, I didn't really care that I wasn't learning anything and wasn't challenging myself in the slightest. So the second semester came around, after winter break, I went back and I was like, I hope that I actually start to learn some things because I was taking courses in my major finally. and. It just was not the case, you guys. Towards the end of my first year, I kind of broke down and realized that it was just not the place for me and it sucked a lot because I formed a new life there and I really loved it so much and it took a lot for me to decide not to go back there. $120,000. Fun. So I was like, I don't really think that it's totally worth it to stay at this school. I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys later. So that's what I did. I packed up everything and transferred back home and transferred to a state school that is only 20 minutes from my house. And so since then, I've just been at this state school, not really learning anything either, but I'm saving so much money and it just, I can sleep at night now knowing that what I'm spending is semi worth it. I don't think it's at all worth it, but 
at least I'm not spending like over $30,000 a year for no reason at all. I just realized at the very beginning that college is just, it's a sham. I definitely thought about dropping out of college because I thought that it was just a waste of my time and money. However, I already put in over $40,000 into this investment, so I didn't want to just have all that go to waste. I just decided to continue and get that degree because a degree at the end of the day cannot ever hurt you. Like, it's a good thing to have. However, I think you could definitely live life without it, especially these days when everybody is getting these degrees. When everybody has something, it becomes worth less. Because I've also found out that usually when you're applying to places, no one really cares where you're going to school. It just matters of like, oh, like, you got a degree. Cool. It's kind of the equivalent to any school these days. Obviously, that kind of rules out an Ivy League. Like, I'm sure you might have a better chance at getting a job if you just graduated from Yale opposed to a state school in Connecticut. I'm not really talking about Ivy League schools here if you haven't caught that drift. This isn't the video for you if you're just sitting here in your Yale dorm right now. Exit out. You're you're doing good. You got it in the bag. You're gonna get a good job. Have fun. Wait, let me actually check my notes because I feel like I'm getting lost here and I don't want to get you lost. I'm gonna go into detail of what a college classroom looks like. Okay, so you walk into class. There are other people in there. No one really is that enthralled to learn. People are on their phones. Again, I see the world of college differently because I'm literally like, here you go, here's all my money, take it, take it. So I go to class and I'm like ready to like learn to have my notepad out. I'm just like ready to like get going and like hopefully attain some information. Sitting in class, professor comes in. He starts playing a movie. This happens often, probably once a week in one of my classes. A movie plays. I don't know about you, but I don't think a movie should ever be playing in class. We literally sit there and watch a two hour film and then you get assigned these papers that you write and spend so much time on and do all this research on and you submit it, you get a grade and then that's it. There's nothing ever talked about. You don't actually get feedback most of the time. You don't truly learn anything because you're just getting hit with grades and assignments that aren't actually ever talked about. So if you didn't know, I studied abroad, which I am the biggest example of shut up, we get it, you studied abroad, move on with your life. But I wanted to fill you in on one of the biggest takeaways that I gained through that experience, which is the system that they have in England. I studied abroad in London. So the system, which I wish that America followed this, they pick a major, for example, communication, and they focus completely on communication. They only take classes relating to communication. They don't waste their time taking general elective courses like math, science, history, all of the courses that we are required to take in American universities in order to graduate, like we have to take those classes even though we know that we don't want to affiliate ourselves with math, history, science, when we've chosen a major, you know? We, we've decided what we want to do and it'd be nice to focus all the energy and work and time into that one major, right? That would make sense. That's like what I grew up thinking when I was in middle school learning about college. That's just not the case here. Like we are required to take so many BS classes because without all the gen ed courses, we would just be in college for three years, just like in London, their schools are just three years long. So obviously in America, they just want your money and they're gonna make you take all these BS classes so you can stay there an extra year and just waste your time. I had to take gym, okay? PE is a required course at my school. I had to meet at the gymnasium at my school twice a week to play kickball. Kickball. I was paying a thousand five hundred dollars for that class. I did the math to play kickball and sometimes if we were lucky we would walk around the gymnasium and listen to the top 40. That's just my experience so far. I'm still in it to win it. I'm getting that degree in December. I am out of here after that. Grad school can go suck my ass. It's not happening. I don't know why anyone would do that. I mean, depending on your major. With my experience being shared, I've just been talking a lot. I wanna also open the door for other people to share their experiences. And so I have recruited some of my friends that are also in college and even some of my amazing viewers that are also in college that wanted to share their thoughts. And I'm now going to play their perspectives. I definitely say paying thousands, thousands, thousands of dollars is not worth it when you can get good education at like a state school. That's what I do. So I pay less of the money. I mean, it really depends on your major. Now, basically a bachelor's degree means nothing. So in my case, I paid 60,000 total to get a bachelor's degree. I got my job, whatever. But if I were applying for another job, someone who paid even more money and got their master's degree is gonna be more likely to get that job. With how much more experience, really? I mean, it's a couple more classes 
where most of the time the classes are bull and all you have to do is show up. So I'm finishing up my first year of county college and I've honestly learned so much. So at first, growing up, I thought, I'm not going to county college, no way. That's for the bad kids with the bad grades. It's not a good school. I'm never going to get a job. But it's honestly way better because, first of all, the price is so much cheaper and you're getting the same classes you would get at a $30,000 university or anywhere you go. It's all gen ed. Like You have so many majors you can choose from. I'm doing hospitality, management, restaurant, and tourism, and I'm already getting certified, and it's my first year. You save so much money, you can get a job faster, they already give out internships for your first year. It's honestly way better to do. If you don't even know what you want to do, you go to a county college, you have to take the basics anyway. It is a huge waste of time and money. I think it is a complete scam. I think it is not mandatory by any means and that it is a choice. All of my friends have dropped out. My parents are dropouts. All of my relatives are. Most of my friends actually never even attended college because people are learning that it is not necessary at all for a successful and happy life. The pro for me about college is the fact that I didn't know much about my major and going into college helped me learn more about it. I feel like if you know what you want to do and you know how to do it, I feel like you don't need college. I can safely say that college has given me a lot of connections, some that I don't think I would be getting if I wasn't in school. I personally think that in today's world, a college degree is kind of required if you want a well-paying job. I hope their experiences have enabled you to think differently about college, whether it's a positive or negative way. I just want to also reiterate that College is just not for everybody. There are so many different paths that you could take in this life that don't involve college. As you see from people that are very successful, I'm pretty sure most of the billionaires out there dropped out of college or didn't go to college and they just did their own thing. It's never too late to change your path and reroute yourself like I did. As you know, I left my overpriced school and I'm now saving a lot of money and I think I'm just a happier person knowing that I'm not gonna be in debt. And so, yeah, there are options for everybody out there. And if you are applying to colleges, really expensive ones and cheaper ones. Now that a bachelor's degree from a very expensive college and a bachelor's degree from a cheaper college is the same thing. Like, why would you buy a t-shirt for $100 when you could buy the same one for $10? I'd love to hear your thoughts on college in the comments down below. So if you want to get an open discussion going and we can comment back and forth and discuss and probably get mad at each other and call people vulgar names. And I just, I really want that. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I post videos pretty frequently. Thanks for watching. I wish you the best in any path that you choose to walk on and I know you're gonna kill it out there So honestly everything's just gonna work out. So don't worry about it. Just don't throw your bank account at these colleges. Okay See ya <laughs>